All right, guys, so we're coming up on what's been about two months since I got my hands on the Steam Deck, and I gotta say, I absolutely love it. Now, today's video isn't exactly a review of the Steam Deck. I did say I will be doing a review of the Steam Deck, and I still will be, but I want to have it for about three months before I really get into that. But what I really wanted to talk about today is that I basically turned this into a handheld Xbox. So let's talk about it. So guys, I don't know about you, but I've always been kind of intrigued by handheld gaming. I've got I've got the Switch OLED here, my Steam Deck right here. I grew up with the PSP. I had a PS Vita for a time. I love the Nintendo DS. I love the Game Boy Advance. I had the Game Boy Color, all that stuff. It was all really awesome stuff in my opinion. But guys, there has always been one thing that I've always wanted, but we have never had, and that is an Xbox handheld. Now, I don't officially have an Xbox handheld. But what I do have is a Steam Deck running Windows Tiny 11, which is basically just Windows 11, but less resource hungry, using less RAM, doesn't affect gaming performance so much on this machine, and it doesn't affect the battery life so much. And for a very brief moment, I kind of considered making this a tutorial video on how to do that to your Steam Deck. Now, the reason I didn't do that is because I don't think I'm the guy for the job for that kind of video. And I'll tell you why. Because when I tried to put Tiny11 on this thing, it took all weekend. Now for my buddy Ham Solo, he did it in one shot. He was good to go, playing his games, no problems at all. Me, on the other hand, I messed up about eh, six or seven times, okay? One time, I messed up so much that this is a Linux machine, by the way. I entirely wiped Linux off of it, so it wouldn't boot. It, it wouldn't boot. I essentially had a brick, and I thought for sure I was going to have to RMA it. And the only reason I didn't have to RMA this thing is because Valve is so awesome, and they know that dumbasses like me exist, and they're going to do stuff like that by accident. And so because of that, they decided to make a website, their support page, where they provided an image file so that I could reflash Linux back onto this and get my SteamOS working again. So God bless Valve for that one. But even with all that said, even with the struggle that was this past week in trying to get Windows 11 running on my Steam Deck, I can say with 100% certainty that it is definitely worth doing. If you've ever thought about doing it, if you got yourself a Steam Deck and you've ever had the thought of putting Windows 11 on your Steam Deck, you, you, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. It's fantastic. And by the way, shout out to Ham Solo for helping me with the final step. I was having some issues with my controls playing games on Windows 11. Ham Solo helped me get it all straightened out, so big thanks to him for that. Now, let's say you're somebody who doesn't really care about Xbox. Let's say you're someone who's not subscribed to Xbox Game Pass. This is primarily an Xbox-centric channel, so I come at it from the Xbox angle for most things. But let's just say you don't care about that for this. I mean, what about Battle.net? You can still access Steam games via Windows. What about GOG Launcher? What about Epic Games? I mean... This is all stuff that you can do on Windows 11, and technically you can get Epic Games Launcher and you can get GOG on SteamOS relatively easily. It's not too complicated, but it's not like the real thing. I mean, there's games that you can play on Windows that you can't play on SteamOS. I think the biggest example, the most popular example, would probably be something like Destiny 2. It does not run on SteamOS. It does not run natively on the Steam Deck. You can't play it. But if you get Windows 11 on your Steam Deck, you can play Destiny 2 just fine. And it's a game that's not very demanding. You can play it on all sorts of different hardware, so it has no issue running on the Steam Deck. But that's just something to consider if you're thinking about Windows 11 on your Steam Deck. But let's get back to the Xbox angle, because I'm talking games, again, like Starfield, Redfall, Forza Motorsport, Hellblade. I'm talking stuff like that. I'll be able to play that day one on a handheld device. I mean, maybe Hellblade won't run the best. I mean, we'll see. Maybe Starfield won't run the best on the Steam Deck. But it's still available for me to download and try it for myself. I'll be able to play these games on the go and still get Xbox achievements doing it. That is fantastic. And by the way, any gameplay that you see in this video at all, I'm going to edit in some gameplay between me talking. Any gameplay that you see in this video is captured from the Steam Deck running Windows. So... I'm using the Xbox Game Pass app to play all these games. I'm not really bothering with other launchers at this time on Windows. I'm just playing Game Pass games from there. 
and all the gameplay you see is from the Steam Deck. And what's great is that there's tutorials that you can follow to download things that help you not even lose functionality of the Steam Deck. So like, the thing I really love about SteamOS is the power tools in SteamOS, so it can help you track your FPS in games, track how much wattage of your battery you're using, how fast your battery is going to drain. You can download things on Windows 11 on Steam Deck that help you keep track of all that stuff the exact same way that SteamOS does. And I will certainly be leaving a link to all the videos in the description that help me figure out all this stuff, as well as, like I said earlier, that article that I followed step by step and it helped me get Windows 11 up and running on my Steam Deck. But leave a comment because I want to hear from you guys. Are you even interested in Steam Deck? And if you have one, are you even interested in putting Windows 11 on your Steam Deck? And if you are, and that sounds like you, like I said, check out the description. I'll leave a link to all the things that I've followed to get Steam Deck up and running with Windows down in the description below. So check that out. Leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're enjoying this kind of content and you want to stay up to date with it going forward over here on the channel, the best way to do that is consider subscribing. Consider ringing that notification bell because it helps you stay up to date with everything that happens over here on the channel. And it helps me get these videos out to more people, which is exactly what I want to be doing. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.